Consider the noble rook, so stately, so well-placed, a paragon of power staring down the half-open file, an honorable rook, sworn to fulfill his sacred task, well, not sacred, perhaps, but a task nonetheless. But what else do we know of the noble rook? What do we know of his hopes, his dreams, his life outside of these sixty-four squares? Do we question how it is that he has come to this point? What led him to join the white army? Do we wonder about his family? Do we think about his partner, his children, his pets? What brings him joy? What makes him sorrow? Does he ever feel that pang of regret, of things not done, paths not taken, choices not made? Does he question the decisions that have led him to this moment, staring down the half-open file? Consider the noble rook, his hopes, his dreams, and what led him to join the white army. Did he do it from a love of adventure, or some misplaced sense of honor, pride, self-sacrifice? Did he do it out of desperation, because he felt he had no other choice? Bills to pay, a child on the way, and no work in a little town that never worked anyway. Was it his first choice, or his last resort? And was he prepared to sacrifice himself for the greater good? Well, not good, perhaps, but a sacrifice nonetheless. In that final moment, with order in hand, will the noble rook follow his command, or will he think on his life and consider those things he never got to choose? And will the noble rook, so stately, so well-placed, staring down the half-open file, refuse. I don't!